Number one, if you have one dimension for one variant and one dimension for the other variant, and you inserted both dimensions as functions with the specification and tolerance into its corresponding variants, then I recommend to insert only one product characteristic with a general name for all variants, because if you then switch between the variants, you see the same product characteristic with different specifications. Number two, delete also the variant specific values in the failures and make them more general, so that they fit to the general product characteristic and for all variants. Now I have a question to you. How would you name the failures to this product characteristic? Write them down in the comments below. Number three, to find better the special characteristics from the FMA in the production drawing, I recommend to add the part number and position within the production drawing as an user defined attribute in your FMA, because this is one of the 11 variant specific values which you can assign for each variant differently. Which are the other 10 variant specific values I show you in my online course about variants. Number four, if you are using variants, don't write the part number into the name of system elements. Instead, use the item code field for it. Because if you then switch between your variants, you always see the item code of the product which belongs to the selected variant. Number five. If you are using process flowcharts in combination with variants, then I recommend to add the part number of incoming material into your process as user-defined attributes for each variant. Because you can easily see which part number is belonging to which variant. And if this video was helpful for you so far, please click on the like button. Thank you. Number six, activate in each editor you work the variant specific value icon in the display options, because only then you see hidden variant specific values in other variants. And you can also see which values these are if you move the mouse over the icon. I suggest to turn on the icon in the structure tree, FMA form sheet, control plan and process flowchart. You will find this icon in the display options in each single editor. Number seven. If you have several variants and you want to create an FMA form sheet, then I recommend to create only one FMA form sheet for all variants, because you can choose within the FMA form sheet editor your variant and the content which belongs to the corresponding variant will be shown in the FMA form sheet editor. By the way, the same applies for control plans, but not for process flowcharts. There I recommend to create one process flowchart for each variant. Why? I explain in my online course about variants. And in this video I explain why you should get this course. Click to watch it next.